Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The CDC has given their approval for Pfizer's kids vaccine, and it is now recommending that children 5 to 11 years old be vaccinated against COVID-19. We'll have more on this major development in 10 minutes. A man is dead after two cars crashed near Berry Avenue and Power Inn Road in South Sacramento. Tonight, two others are hospitalized. 23-year-old Isaiah Evans of Rancho Cordova is now in jail on suspicion of not one, but two robberies. Investigators say within 20 minutes, Minutes, two gas stations were robbed in the Woodland area. They found the suspect while on his way to a third station, they said. The UC Davis Police Department warning about cases of employment fraud in a Facebook post. They say students are receiving emails from somebody impersonating a professor, offering remote work and requesting money. The U.S. Capitol Christmas tree is now in our area. It made a stop in Dixon today and is headed to the state capitol tomorrow morning. To meet the man who picked out the 84-foot white fur, head to BartelsBackRoads.com. Rent prices in Sacramento are up half a percent compared to a 0.8 percent increase nationally. The latest apartment list report says the average rental price for a two-bedroom apartment is more than $1,700. The group Decarcerate Sacramento is calling out the county to bring attention to COVID-19 cases inside Sacramento jails. There are at least 75 COVID cases between the county's two jails. One person has died. More canceled flights for American Airlines, strong winds at its hub in Dallas for some cancellations, and that had a ripple effect, putting flight crews out of position. American has grounded more than 2,000 flights since Friday. According to the Sacramento Bee, a Sacramento City firefighter is headed back to work after resigning earlier this year over a, quote, hostile work environment. Desmond Lewis does not have a return date, but we expect to learn more tomorrow when we talk with the department. And ahead of the winter season, Sacramento Metro Fire is redoubling on their equipment and efforts to save anyone from flooding. This includes specialized boats and even drones that can drop life jackets to people stranded in the water. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.